your fire will be poured out, that you might work in this world, and we pray for that hour. When Uncle Suakule Gubaga and Atum Liloa Kungabu Su or Kale Lam Shabeni, Siakule and Kosuguba Nazi, Sisangabeza and Alelo Hall, that that fire which you've started might grow brighter and stronger. Gubanko Silom Lilo and Oka Lugubasa Ukul and Amanda Uvutegaku. We pray that you would bless everything. Kulego Gutubusi Segonke, and we listen to the brass band. Be with him. And dispel everything which is not of you. Amen. Amen. Turn hence. The brass band will play two hymns. The first hymn, How Sweet the Name of Jesus Sounds. And the second hymn, Teach Me Thy Way, O Lord.
that God teaches us His ways. You know, these days, I was thinking something for me personally. You know, it's always been something in my heart that when God speaks, that we understand. And, and, and he speaks in ways which will riddle you. And you know what? Again, this is something which I experienced and looked at it. Some time back, I was quite at some time in Namibia with Reverend Stegan. And you know, we looked at things and he gave instructions. But when you look back today, he wasn't speaking about Namibia. He's speaking about you and me. He wasn't speaking about the desert. He's speaking about your heart and my heart. That's what he was speaking. That's how I looked at it. And that's how I said, but Lord, is that what you were telling me all the time? You remember how often he would speak here and he preach and they say the Sunday comes up differently than it comes up here. He was speaking a spiritual language. And you know what? Maybe we, you and I are like that. We don't understand. But by God's grace, he can open our minds and our hearts. And you know, and did we understand? For me, I had to say this day, I said, Lord, what were you saying? Were you saying the desert of this world will bloom? You don't always hear what you said. I, I was there sometimes. And he said, will the desert of this world bloom? Will his word bloom? Will it grow in a desert? And that's how I see it today. I don't say that nothing will happen, no. But people, let's understand and pray God open our spiritual minds. Because we can hear, but not hear. And you know, God speaks to us. He reveals it to us. And we just literally see the words that come, but we don't grasp God is speaking to me to change my life. That's why maybe your life is dead as it is. Because you don't grasp. And you know that disciples after a time said, No, is this what the Lord was saying? Is that what it was teaching us? Friends, may it be in our life like that. Let's forget what others think and say. Hear what God says to you. You think humans are speaking to you. Well, I don't, I'm not convinced by what they tell me. I, don't, I see it different. You'll always see it different because you're on the wrong wavelength. And you know, sometimes you criticize along the way. How is it possible? How is it this thing going to happen? How? No wonder. No wonder because you're looking miss. You're looking, you're, you're looking at what you think God is saying, but God says, no, 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 no. This is what I'm saying. And we don't grasp that mystery. May we grasp a mystery when the Lord speaks to us. 
kaningu tolu muntu se yaklega iti kungani kunje kungani kunje ngoba si shayekele na si iboni zinto ngende lunkulunkula funa si iboni ngayo aga si zunkulunkula sambulele imfishagalo ya kechulile somebody says something to me I see that person but I don't see God behind it that's the problem Umuntu meshok tize gimi, gibona yenu muntu angbonu nkulunkule mvagwa ke hinki ngaleo. Sorry, sorry, I had to, maybe I sound like I'm now, but I had to give an introduction because that's, that's on my heart. May we understand, you know, often I say that, you know, Reverend Stegen would, sorry to say that in that way, but because I was often with him, he would say something and we wouldn't see the spiritual so we see the work we see everything this you know for me I say Lord grant me the grace grant me the grace to understand and do what you said we should do so we'll ask the choir to come forward to sing for us and after that we leave it over to the Lord's servant so tell us how you sing a pambi list to lele ebese shieling na gwini gang kulungkul Kwa <laughs> Abagini na mukulungu langsi zego tima sengi lula glum taba pinde footing tanga na yangu mukulungu le zuluini kimto mi sene zingi losi zonke zase zuluini mese kistina gengi le zulu mina giofuna. The Zulu song speaks about seeking God's will, and I won't just go about it in a light manner, but I will seek it earnestly, so that I will be able to fulfill his purpose and for his will in his life. And we need to spurn each other on that we seek to do his will and are pleasing to him.
the, the last words of that song were, I have found the one who is my hope, who is my rock, and who is my Lord and Savior. Mazopina etulo ating him tolile o itembalami, o itualalami, o umsindi suam. May that be our testimony. Wanga tige loko gungaba ufagazi beitu. And our life. Gube izimpilo zetu futi. So we wish to welcome everyone who has joined us this morning. Sitandu kwa mgela wongu mundu, otlanga nyele ganye nati na mtlanje kseni. Um, we have people from different places. Even yesterday afternoon, I met some people from Namibia, so welcome to those as well. And everyone else who is tuned in today, May the Lord give you all what is on his heart, that you are open and able and have strength to receive it. Yesterday we had a wonderful funeral here of a lady of the congregation, maybe not well known to others, but very well known to others. And her life impacted those around her. She didn't keep silent about her Savior. And today we of the word of life to them. Even in her sickness, she was thankful, never complaining, never murmuring and grumbling, a blessing and a Yes, even a support to those around her and those who were nursing her. And I say these days, God is good to us here and to everyone who seeks to live according to God's purpose and plan for their life. And God prepares them for their death. It is inexplainable. It is wonderful. God is so gracious to us. And yes, time is limited, but God is, is greatly to be praised. And so wherever you are, think of Gokom Somi. Wherever you are, can't you pass on a word to the one next to you? You don't know 
what seed you are sowing. And maybe that seed will spring up and bear a hundredfold. Nomanga bektu ugu pila u itolu kona umkumbule umesi simso. Ebesu tata leo sbone lo sempilo yake. When the stints are so good to a chalim beu, a yizu gankurunkulu, kuna no muba, no shanga bezana nai, Goba was good to lembe o chalam chambizo kula, a caraz, a telly telong away cool. Now, just this morning, I think I read of a man who was beheaded together with five or four of his friends when. He was preaching, and his type of preaching was not acceptable to the, to the powers, to the authorities, and eventually they had to um, be, be beheaded for their faith. I'm Sanjay Sen in Kenga Fundang and daughter, a big atin, a mania ma daughter, our four, bell five, sebe bonke, Lendo Tibishumaili, Vangeli, El Seco Pelenel Pezul, and Angela Uti, E. Patimanda, Nala Baba Sema Cunieni, Abazanga Bawam Gelum Yalezo, Vangeli, Quasuwa Finella Lapo Melebanguno, Konamakan. And when he went up to the gallows, the scatter say I lapo at the bezom hang a corner. He says, it is easier for me to climb up these steps than for me to have climbed up onto the pulpit. So he expresses to us the earnestness which he was about and seeking to bring the word of God. Yes, you can also think for yourself what drove him when he, when he went the, up the steps of the pulpit. Pulpit. So we need abundant grace. We need we need God to stand with us to be able to speak which will edify his children. So let us pray once again. Lord, we bring this hour before you and ask, wouldn't you be gracious to us and break us the bread of life that we may be equipped through your spirit to be able to hear that which you want to tell us and which will serve for your purpose and for heaven's purposes. Go see, see, tell you, Nigel, a little horror is and in Zako. See, I tell Uncle Suguba, we parati way to Uslepuleli singwa. Is singwa is so was Gubasis Kutaze, Sis Kukuzele, Siguazu Kitchi Mendeleni, Siham Bengendela Lezo Gwenza Venus Zuluini, Utogos. Help us to see and hear wonderful things that you can only speak to our hearts. Lord, we ask this, Lord Jesus, through your grace 
alone. Lokus yakela nko su Jesu nko musa wako wotwa. Amen. Amen. You will be with me this morning if I refer maybe to different portions which were a blessing to me. One of the one of the themes we can maybe ponder on. Is God can change the greatest threat. into great glory for his kingdom. I'd like to go to Acts chapter 9. Here we hear of Saul's conversion. After the death of Stephen, the stoning of this first martyr of the first church. And how glorious his death was that he could see the Lord standing, the Lord and Savior standing at the right hand of the Father, heaven being opened to him, and he falling asleep, being stoned to death outwardly. So at that time, a great persecution arose against the church at Jerusalem. And the Christians were all scattered throughout Judea and Samaria. And Saul made havoc of the church, entering every house and dragging off men and women committing them to prison. And so the threat can enter into every house. And people ask themselves, what will become of us? Are we lost? Will the enemy overtake us? Well, let us hear of Saul, who was, so to say, spearheading this attack. In verse 1 it says, Then Saul, still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest. And and asked letters from him to the synagogues of Damascus 
so that if he found any who were of the way, whether men or women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. Wakela kuye izingwati zoguye tamasegu emasina kokin. Kuze guti ume fumana bantu ba leon jela, abeslisa na besfazan, abaise cherusalema beboshi. Well, here he needed letters of confirmation. Things on black and white as evidence that he had the authority of the rulers of the Jews. Kulendi mese sifundi le giave lugutu saul waitinga ingwati ezokin segi suguti loka ifunu kwenza amanda ako wainige zwe ilaba basema kunye naba izi pati manda bam nigi ngwate paliwe panti e ufagas. And as he journeyed he came near Damascus and suddenly a light shone around him from heaven. Kepa ikambe nguake ese sondelete amase kwamba nega masinyane ngazonke ukanya okvele zului. Then he fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And he said, Who are you, Lord? I then the Lord said, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. Yati, me nangingu Jesu omzingela wena. Let us stop here. Astine kona la pukfunda. Saul went to a certain point. He came to a certain road with all his determination, with all his zeal, with all his innocence, claiming he was doing this because of a clear conscience. Usauli lo wafinyelele skabene stize, wafinyelele mkwake no tize, ene nchisegelo, eno kozu, ezmiselu kutiloka kwenzayo, ukwenza ngobana ku emsulwa. Nobody could contradict him. Even the believers were already expecting him in Damascus because he, they heard of the authority that he received and was on his way to Damascus to disperse, to annihilate people belonging to the way. Gishama kolwa aise zwile ngayu saulu kuti uyeza usendleleni. Ngobu se tole ingu atezi mkunyazayo. Ukuba fige la iti amasegu. Atrishe gonke. Atrete gonke. Bonka ba zbiza ngukuti banga makristu. Bonka ba leyo njela. Atrete ngabu. But that was his initiative. And maybe the council's initiative. And whoever was behind this plot. They had worked out their plan. Yeno wa isi susa sa loku, na labo wa babe msiza, babe mlule rangako, no manga bubaniga wa isha nganyele ranyena, yugu ba lelikwebo libe impumelelo, babe lselega ase lelisula. But because Jesus was amongst his people and alive in their hearts, God put a stop to their plot. And this man who had all the authority, he was thrown to the ground. And he needed correction. He needed to repent. 
He needed to turn from his ways and start the way and the walk of Jesus. Little, little did he realize that he was actually persecuting Jesus. He was on the human level. He reckoned and planned according to the powers of this earth. And he needed correction from the Lord. And he was thrown to the ground. He was brought to level zero. But in this experience, how wonderful, he could still ask, Who are you, Lord? There must have been something in this light, something in this power that threw him to the ground, that he realized, I see this is God's hand now heavy upon me. And he Suddenly, his eyes were blinded. He couldn't see anymore as he used to see. If you meet this Jesus who met Paul, who met this Saul, your eyes will see things that you have not seen before. But thankfully, to this soul changing into a Paul, he said, Who are you, Lord? And trembling and astonished, said, Lord, what do you want me to do? From that moment on, it was as if he told himself, from now on, it's not my way anymore. I've been struck down. I've been wrong. God has crossed a red line through my plans. And suddenly, Can God bring you down to level zero? All his learning, all our learning, all our experience, all our prayers, need to start in the dust of so to say, in the dust, at low level, at ground zero. If one to ask, Lord, what do you want me to do? 
Sifinyelele skabeni na poso buza konu kutinkosi. Igu upi ofisa ngwenze na. Has our repentance been so? Mbuzo kutinkabu pendu kakwe tukunja alo na. And if the Lord is correcting us today. Uminkosi skondi sana mshanje. Do you start at level zero? Mabu ya kala hii ni gu level zero na. Lord, what do you want me to do? Besusho la mazwe ati nkosi yigu upofisa ngwenze na. And that's why God could change this greatest threat into great glory for his kingdom. Nogu inga kogu nkulukulu wa wazu kukula lo kukusabi sana lo kukushu shogu nzimaga ngaga wakpendula wakwenzi nkazmulo ya. And if you are not willing to say, Lord, what do you want me to do? God will choose someone else who will pray that prayer. And God will overlook you and he will look for someone who will say, Lord, what do you want me to do? Uma wenunga zimisele uwenza loko. Nkulunkuluzo ofuno munyu mundu, ozo kulega lo mtandazo oti nkosi, igu upi ofuna ngwenze na, nkosi zo gweka, ijulelego munyu mundu imiselu kutenzi ndando ya. We realize our unworthiness. Kubenga tisi ya konda, ukshulega wetu, nongabina manda wetu. Our righteousness seems as filthy rags. Nogilunga wetu kufele pendu gitu wetu engoli. Our eyes see things that we have never beheld before. My righteousness is worth dust. Some people, they can still boast about their, you know, before I got converted, hey, I used to be the gang leader. But you know, nobody dared to speak a bad word to me. He will, would have had to suffer the consequences. You are still proud of what you achieved in the past. Some pride themselves how much they could drink. Don't think you can walk to God's glory and to the glory of his kingdom if you still pride yourself in what you were and what you achieved and how much money you made and how many girls you loved. And now when you are converted, you can still, still speak about how you wooed the girls. And still today you can evaluate girls and say, you know, she's okay, her face is okay, but her arms, but her nails... How can you talk like that? Children, school children, children of this world, how dare you open your mouth and spit out all this filth and shame to a fellow Christian even. Gishu supendu gile unesbindi so koku uti wawashe la ganjana mantomba zane Usakube guya washola manyu tilo ubugega gashu no buso buse koti inga lo zake, inzi po zake. Isbindi so gvulumlo mo waku kulumo gnjalo ustatapi. Nina bantu anabeskole ama zwanje nga lao nwa kuluma ganjani iga kulugum zalwa no munye na. Here we are not speaking about such a conversion that you have had. Ule ndi mesifundi las kulumi ngo kpendu kwa kufana na loko wena owasha ngabeza na na awe. We are not calling soldiers to the ranks of the army of Christ who have had such a shallow conversion. Asbiza mabutu kuti azoba hingenye yombuso ka kristu, noma impi ka kristu, 
uma ephenduke ngale yondlela elula kangaka we have heard testimonies of men of god who have said and who have claimed that we with god can overcome the world are you part of them or are you a loser you sit amongst us you love to hear the messages but maybe you're a loser you can't stand shoulder to shoulder in the ranks of our lord jesus christ sizwilo ngobufakazi bomadoda kaNkulunkulu afakaza hayi ukuthi asebenze kanjani nonkulunkulu anqoba izwe ngabe wena uyafakaza hayi kanjalo noma nje uyisahluleki uzokwazi ukuma namadoda kaNkulunkulu ihlombe nehlombe nawube ingxenye yombuso kaNkulunkulu can you have this conversion that soul had that thereafter a great part of the new testament was penned by this hater of the way ngabo kwakuphenduka kuyafana yani nokuphenduka kwa Saul esizwa ngakho kule ncwadi yezenzo esephendukile wabhala ingxenye enkulu yetestament elisha ukuphenduka okunamandla can you say so these words of yours i agree with them and i pray that god would make me part and parcel of these words may my life be aligned to these words after your conversion ngabuya sho yini ukuthi paul la mauzo wabhalile ayingxenye yempilo yami nami ngiyahambisana nawo nami ngiphenduke ngendlela efana yindlela esezingeni men of god once said we need to die daily ndoda kaNkulunkulu yasho la mazwe athi simelo ukufa usuku nosuku and what he was saying i believe was a testimony of what he was experiencing lokha ikusho ngiyakhola ukuthi kwakubufakazi balokho ayihlangabezana nakho yena he says we need to repent we need to be ready to repent every day ezivezela ukuthi simele ukukulungela ukuthi siphenduke usuku nosuku this wasn't something of hearsay of which he spoke akusikho nje lokha ekukhuluma kuphelwa amazwi nje kuphela i believe this was experiential knowledge that he was speaking about kodwa ke ngiyakholwa ukuthi lokho wahlangabezana nakho yena amathupha so the question is can you receive correction from the lord umbuzo ke uthi wena ngabuya samukela yini siyalo nokuqondisa okuvela enkosini na can you receive are you lowly of heart that you can receive correction from man umbuzo uthi ngabuthobekile yini ngenhliziyo ngendlela yokuthi uzokwamkela uqondiswa umuntu ofana nawe and maybe even correction from a donkey mhlawumbuzo uthola ukuqondiswa okuvela embongolweni allow me to refer to numbers 22 ngivumeleni inkaphune encwadini ka numero isahluko samashumi amabili anambili taken as as an example Balaam the prophet ngithatheke ubiliam njengesibonelo umprofeti in numbers 22 from chapter 1 the children of israel moved and camped in the plains of moab on the side of jordan across from jericho ncwadi kanumeru isahluko samashumi amabili anambili iverse lokuqala abantwana baka Israel bahamba bamise mathafena kwa Moabi ngaphesha kwe Jordan ngase Jericho Now Balak who was the king of Moab manje kubalaki wa inkosi yakwaba ka Moab so all that Israel had done to the Amorites konke akwenzile u Israel kuwo ama Amori 
and Moab was exceedingly afraid of the people. Here it says, because they were many. And Moab was sick with dread because of the children of Israel. Well, it's a long story, so let us then Balak sent messages to Balaam to call him, saying, at, at verse, the end of verse 5, Look, a people has come from Egypt. See, they cover the face of the earth and are settling next to me. Sizofundage ngasengwenye niyokina ivesi leslano. Kupili ya mindota na kapiyori upetori. Eli ngasemfule nezwe nabantuana babantu bake ugumbiza nguguti. Pega bake sorry. Nabantuana babantu bake ugumbiza nguguti. Pega nampa abantu abapumile ekipite Pega basibegela ubuso bomshaba sebehlala malungana nami. Therefore, please come at once. Curse this people for me, for they are too mighty for me. Perhaps I shall be able to defeat them and drive them out of the land. For I know that he whom you bless is blessed, and he whom you curse is cursed. Ngalokho ake uze manje ungiqalekisele lapha abantu ngokuba bayangahlula mhlawumbe ngingaze ngibe namandla ukuba sibanqobe ngibaxoshe ezweni ngokuba ngiyazi ukuthi ombusisayo ubusisiwe nomqalekisayo uqalekisiwe Just hear these words of Balak the king of Moab Look a people has come from Egypt we know what Egypt stands for. It is a land out of which we need to be saved. And Balak realized these people have come out of Egypt. And they on their way to the promised land. And they cover the face of the earth. Do you see God's chosen ones that have come out of Egypt? They seem to cover the whole earth. And now he was under threat. <coughs> they weren't being attacked. But he felt, I am under attack. I won't be able to survive. See what glory God places on his people that have forsaken Egypt, that have come out of Egypt, that don't remember the meat of Egypt and the leek and the garlic and the onions and the fish of Egypt. Have you come out of Egypt? Let today be the day that you leave the land of Egypt. Have you heard about two Sundays ago 
We heard you, that you need to come out of the land of temptation. Uzwile hii ni gabanzi, masonte na mabile jule, skaze luguti, umedo puma ezweni, elkwele izilingu. How will you overcome if you still live in the land of temptation and you are surrounded by temptation and you only feel temptation? Come to the land of victory. Enter and take your steps out of Egypt and go through that wilderness of refining process. You've been called to Canaan. You haven't been called to Egypt. Umbuzuti, uzo ngoba ganja anu sashe ligulu lelizwe loglinga, loglingwa. Usazungezwe hizi ilingo. Pumezwe nile ilingo. Ungenendeleni epege kanani. Utabule shane lapo ozo kolu sisega kolu. God can change the greatest threats of your life by you forsaking Egypt. Now oh, that's, that's the physical, the human, the natural threats that maybe you encounter and are battling with. Unkulunkulu angaksiza, agwazu pendula loko winking agweno kuksabi sayo, uguti kuksebenzele gube guche, umu puma ezwenle setembi, umu puma ekipite uyezwenle setembi. He is our Lord, our, our Savior, our Victor, the King of Kings, who's leading you to a promised land. Oh, don't. Don't pass that by. Don't be one who lags behind. But put, take your steps to follow him. Don't get left behind. Yena we inkosi yetu, um sindi si wetu, um um nobi wetu. We inkosi ya makosi. Una manjo kuba soles kubegele pambili. Una vumu kusalela ngemuva. Kubegele pambili uhambe na inkose na manjo. So the messengers came to Balaam the prophet. Manje gi itunywa zase zifika kum prophet upiliyamu. And they brought the message to him. Zase zimle tela ge umyalezo upiliyamu. And then he said, you lodge here tonight while I inquire of the Lord, I hear of the Lord what, what an answer God gives me. Baise tigu pilia mugle zi tu unwa angen shale nje lobu psugu minang zobuze nko sinu gu tigu pengmele ngwenzi. Before Balaam went and asked of the Lord, the Lord confronted him. And he said, Balaam, who are these men with you? Do you see the prince of peace and the lord of lords who sees the heart and who can say, who are these people with you? Before Balak even prays, uh, Balaam prays to the Lord, the Lord already is warning him and saying, Who are these people who are with you? If the Lord comes to us and reprimands us, if the Lord comes and questions us, do we, do we catch the mystery? Do we hear, hey, these people, I'm not supposed to be with them. Umi nko si figa giti izo siyala iskondise. Nga besi ya ibamba ini njula ya mfisha gali nko se sugi za mugu zveze la yona. Ebe suya izbuza wa inuguti ngabe guche inuguti ngisha nganise nala babantu. 
You see, God wants us to be amongst the living, not amongst the dead. Unkulunkulu fisa si tanga ni se na bantu ba pila ayo, ai na bantu ba file. With whom do you find yourself? Umbuzo guti ge we na usola ungagli pike. Are you on the side of those who are seeking Israel's destruction? Hey, do you still lend an ear to them? Do you still like to have their opinion? You know, actually, what is Balak intending? The Lord knows the heart, and he can warn us timelessly, beware, these men, I'm not pleased that they are with you. Mabe wenu sosha ngoti ni la baba antu abafisu kritisizwe ska Israel. Usababolege indlebe yako, usezu imbono yabo, usafunu guzu guti batabangani ni nkosi abu palaki. Uyamuzwa inunkulunkulegi ya alu guti kapela. Unga lingu isha nganise na la baba antu. So God answers Balaam, you shall not go with them. You shall not curse the people. For they are blessed. Nkulunkulu wati kupiliamu. Awe igu hamba nao. Awe igu kalegi sabantu ngoguba babu sisiwe. Never get into the way and across the way of God's army. Unga linge umendeleni ye mpiga nkulunkulu. And never try to infiltrate their ranks. If they are blessed, then you will find yourself perhaps ending up on a cursed way. Bless those whom the Lord blesses. If you curse them, beware that that curse doesn't backfire on your own life and the blessing of God vanishes on your life and you will experience curses, the blessing gone. However way you will try to cry out for the blessing, you can cry like Esau. But you despise the blessing of the Lord. And you have to bear the consequences. And what consequences are there in store for you? Friend, better for you to turn back from your deine Irrwege before es zu spät bist. Und deine Seele kein Gefallen daran mehr hat. Umukalegi sabantu bagankulunkula babusi siwe. Kapelu gutis kalegi sos ngabu isi lewena. Ebe se gnyamala lisbusi sunkulunkula beschali lempilwe niyako. Besu ya kala manju ya sfunu nga sastoli. Nomu nga kali nyembezi. Jengo esa wa kala. Kantu wa itele li lisbusi sos kankulunkula. Musu kalegi sabantu nkulunkula babusi siwe. So he told the messengers, you go back to whom you have been sent. Tell Balak, I cannot come. What does Balak say? Now he sent now a entourage now he sent the princes of Moab and he sent gifts. He loaded them with honor and with all that man, human man desires. Uma zifiga lezi itu nya kupalaki, usaya shincha manju setumela, ezi inyi ikulu, ezi na manja, ezi no tumo, kupiliamu, itumela ipeti zipo, itumela zipete gongo kushonga sukaba. 
I will certainly honor you greatly, and I will do whatever you say to me. Please come and curse this people for me. Kubangya kuguni kutu mo olkul, na kogonke ongchela kona ngya kuguenza, age uze ngalo komanje ongkalegisele la babant. What did Balaam answer? Even though you give me his house full of silver and gold, I could not go beyond the word of the Lord my God to do less or more. Upiliamu wa pendu la wati guzo izi ngegu zika palaki. Nomu palaki baya kunginiga indu ya ke ikwelisili vane kolite. Angina gulizula izu liga chovu nkulu nkulu wami ugwenza ognane no kulu. And dear friend, be assured, money plays a role in this time in which we live also. And people are lovers of money. As they were lovers of money when the priests bribed them to call out, crucify him, when the, Jesus stood before Pilate. And woe to you if you bribe people with money to Ma try to rob people of God's blessing. Money is cursed. Such money is cursed, may I dare say. Even when it was a disciple of the Lord, a Judas, who loved to take of the purse, and because of money, because the promise of 30 pieces of silver, he was willing, willing to, to betray his Lord. And if you are listening to me, then know if you have been involved in that, woe to you if there is no blessing on your bribery and corruption. The Lord of Lords is on the march. And his followers give their lives for his purpose. And they don't want to disappoint their Lord and Savior. Beware lest the blessing of God turns into a curse. Kapela. And But then the Lord spoke to Balaam that second time. And he says, If the men come to call you, rise and go with them. But only the word which I speak to you, that you shall do. Unkulunkulu wa ise kulu mafuti kupiliamu wati guye. Uma matote figu kukbiza. Vugu hambe nao. Kepa lelo lizu kupela ngilu kulu maguwe uyagulenza. So he settled his donkey and was on his way to Balak. Upiliamu gelo wa ise bo peli mbongo lo yake. Wa ise ilungsele lugu tabe so hambo eni epege kupalaki. And God's anger was roused, aroused because he went. 
ukuthi wintu ukuthela kaNkulunkulu yamvuthela ngenxa yokuthi wahamba Now the donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way with his drawn sword in his hand and the donkey turned aside out of the way and went into the field Kuthiwa ingelosi yenkosi yama endlelena izohamba ngayo yavimbela le mbongolo imbongolo yayisemanjijika ithatha enyindlela He forced the donkey back onto the way. And the angel stood in the road, which was a narrow path with a wall on either side. And that donkey saw which the prophet of which the prophet could not see. In Bongolo, I see Bona Loku um prophet Angawas Gubon. Saul could see him. He, he said, Who are you, Lord? Saul was reborn in course, was our booze with Umuban in course. And he humbled himself. No, Balaam, the donkey went against the wall and crushed his leg and his foot. And he was furious, got out his whip or his rod, and he beat the donkey because of his pain. And then the angel of the Lord went still further. And the third time, the donkey saw the angel of the Lord and had no way out. And he saw to say, the donkey just collapsed under the prophet. I can't proceed on this way. Tuwingelosi yankosi ya kubegela pambili ya maguyo futi leo njela. Maikubegi mbongolo ya ibona futi lengelosi. Tewa ya vele ya pela manji mbongolo ya lala panti. Ya vezu utanguazu kubegela pambili. I don't know, is it necessary for me to relate this? It takes quite some time. But then the Lord opened the mouth of the donkey. And she said to Balaam, what have I done to you that you have struck me these three times? And Balaam said to the donkey, because you have abused me. I wish there were a sword in my hand, for now I would kill you. Biliam watem bongolwe ningo guba ungi swabulele. Sangati ngabe gukoni kembe sanjen sam ngo guba ngabe sengikbule. Speaking the same language of some people of whom I have spoken are willing to behead the servants of God for their own. Motives, their own, what can I call it? Dilbert deliberations for their own existence and their own honor and pomp. Upiliam lo ukulumuli molfana yo no limila lo ababante ukulume ngabo ababe imise lo kutibangu mama kanda amato tarang kulunkulu genga ye injongo zabo genga ye zinto zabe ikondene na. Balaam didn't see God's sword in the hand of the angel of the Lord that was ready to slay him, save, being saved by the donkey. Balaam 
kwase ukuthi ke kwenzeka asizwe iyo le mbongolo engaqhubekelanga phambili then the Lord opened Balaam's eyes and he saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way with his drawn sword in his hand and he bowed his head and fell flat on his face. Ujehova waise vula aga mesho ka piliam waibo ningelos ka Jehova imenzeleni inenkemba ya yehoshiwe sanjin sayo Wakoba ikanda wawa ngubuso baki. May I just shortly also relate of Rahab, the prostitute. Hivu mele nukuba futi ngpinde ngtwebis tombe ngora habi owa etaisa ngomzim. She was visited by the two spies of this army of Israel. It was about to enter Canaan. Ura habi lo wa vagashelwa in toli e zimbile zai vela gulempi gangkulunkulu. Zizo shola izu na pamu uba zingenegulo izu la se kanan. And she told these spies, we have heard of God's mighty acts. How you have gone victorious. And we are struck and all the land is struck with fear of you. Please, spare me. I said, Sura Habis is really the man that I'm going to go to Santa Sakas in Amanda, Nanga Kogonko, Okula, Wenzile, and Mobezin is easy. Manjas Temas is a local Sapella Manda, Nako and Yatel Ubanin Sindis. She begged for mercy for herself her father and mother, brothers and sisters. Urahabi lo wa isekte lu musa, e ukele la yena no mdenuwa kubabu wake no ma wake, wote atuwabu na bafo wa. And then she received the instruction. Wa isek tolu miyali. Because you have welcomed us. Zati nchao lige ngoguba usamugele. Now, when we go, be sure when we enter the land to attack your city, have a red thread hanging out of the window so that when we come, we will recognize, we will recognize the scarlet thread hanging from your window and you will be safe, you and your household. Sasa ziti ntolige saso hamba. Kora ge umu funu ksinda. Ubota tindo pe bovu. Ibo pele fasteleni. Uma smu ya si ibo na lendo pe bovu. Uyobu susinda wena nendri hako. And then the destruction came. To the Lord of Lords. Broke down. The walls of Jericho. And who was saved? This Rahab. When the spies left, she said, probably said in her heart, I won't wait till they come. Today I'm taking the scarlet cord and I'm hanging it out of my window. Today this cross will be my, will be hanging on my house, this house, which is the, this eigentum Jesu, which is the property, the sole property of Jesus and his saving blood. Maleso skati ke wasinda ngaleo njelu rahabi, kwa rangi atabanguti, nge skati zihambi intoli. Wasala watata leo nita mbebovu ngukputuma Waifage fastele ni watu angsa lindi nje Angsa polisi masego ngufuna mabebuya Loku kusindisa kwe spambano Nami kusindise kusindisa umpefu muno wami Obegiwe gulo mzimba umpefu muno kankununku Wonderful Rahab coming out of a lost Lost past Now accepted salvation And now said I am joining myself to this army of the Lord. 
I am part of it. Kya mangali sukutu rahabi lo wa ene muva elibi e pumempilu ene ingi tagalo wa ise tati smumo sukutu njenga manje nge ishanga nisa ne mpika nkulu nkulu na minzoba inge nye ya. Now perhaps you will understand why I say God can change the greatest threat into great glory for his kingdom. Let the scarlet cord always hang out of the window of your home. Let it always hang in, in the entrance of your heart. If you take that scarlet cord away, if the blood of Jesus isn't active in your life anymore, woe unto you, lest you lose the blessing of God. Isn't Jesus wonderful? Isn't his gospel wonderful? Salvation to our souls. Ngabu chesa ka siso inisimanga. Ngabinti ndi iso ye mpefmulo yetu. Ay siso inisimanga impilo enze etu na. Coming out of the curse and entering into the blessing. Why would you forsake the blessing? Your eyes are blinded. And it will be God's grace if he can send an heavenly angel with a drawn sword and your eyes are opened and you fall with your face to the ground. May God grant us that grace. Oh God, we cannot fathom your love while we were yet sinners, lost in the curse and in the power of Satan's grip and hold. You sent your Son to save us. Let our, our hearts and minds praise you for all eternity. Banish all blindness and all lukewarmness and all weakness that we can serve you as you have called us. And drive gloriously on your white horse ahead of your army. Lead us into victory. For thine is the power and the glory forever and ever. Keep us under the shelter of your wings even for this coming week. Let your glory 
be made known through all the earth. Through the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. The Lord be with you.